Lewis Hamilton pulled off one of the most memorable comebacks in recent Formula 1 history to win the Sao Paulo Grand Prix and offer another twist in the F1 title race. It was a dramatic weekend both on and off track in Brazil. After being excluded from qualifying on Friday due to a DRS technical issue, Hamilton fought his way from last place on the grid in the sprint race to end the weekend on the top step of the podium. This is how Lewis Hamilton pulled off his sensational last to first charge over two days at Interlagos. We got an early sign of Mercedes pace advantage in Brazil during qualifying on Friday. Hamilton took pole position by 4 tenths of a second ahead of Verstappen, which around such a short lap is a considerable margin. But then came Hamilton's exclusion from qualifying. The FIA's post-session checks found that the DRS on his rear wing was 0.2mm outside of the permitted 85mm gap, with a lengthy stewards hearing ultimately resulting in Hamilton being disqualified from the session. Mercedes called the decision harsh, but opted against appealing as it would have thrown the rest of the weekend into jeopardy. It meant Hamilton would start from last place on the grid for the 24 lap sprint race on Saturday. The new sprints have divided fan opinion since being introduced to F1 this year, but Hamilton's charge through the field made the third and final trial of the new format the best one yet. Hamilton was up to 14th by the end of the first lap and continued to make rapid progress through the order, eventually crossing the line in 5th place. A last lap lunge on Lando Norris into Turn 1 capped off an impressive charge, going some way to reducing the damage of his qualifying exclusion. While his new engine helped offer such a pace advantage, Hamilton still had a penalty to serve for it. He dropped back 5 places on the grid for Sunday, meaning he would start the race from P10. With title rival Max Verstappen second on the grid, the advantage very much lay with the Red Bull driver. Just as he did on Saturday, Hamilton wasted little time when the lights went out for Sunday's Grand Prix. He gained places from Lando Norris, Pierre Gasly, Esteban Ocon and Sebastian Vettel on lap 1, and then sailed past the two Ferraris of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz two laps later. Mercedes then asked Valtteri Bottas to move aside for Hamilton to give the world champion third place, before an early safety car period left only the two Red Bulls ahead of him. Sergio Perez put up a bit more of a fight, but could do nothing to compete with the incredible straight line speed of Hamilton's Mercedes. On lap 19, Hamilton got the move done into Turn 1, leaving only Verstappen ahead of him to set up yet another wheel-to-wheel -wheel fight between our two title contenders and write another chapter in their rivalry. But before we get into the fight between Hamilton and Verstappen, we do want to give a shout out to our sponsor for this series, Party Poker, who currently have a special sign-up offer. If you go to the link in the description and open a new account and deposit £10 or more today, Party Poker will match you on deposits up to £400 and give you £40 worth of free play. Naturally, this is only available if you are over 18 and T's and C's apply. Please be gamble aware and play responsibly. Right, let's get back to the action and pick it back up on lap 25 at Interlagos as Max Verstappen finds himself four seconds clear of Lewis Hamilton at the front of the pack. Mercedes looked to close the gap on Verstappen by pitting Hamilton early and getting the undercut. Hamilton pitted on lap 26 for a set of hard tyres, forcing Red Bull to respond one lap later. Verstappen kept the lead, but his advantage had dropped to less than two seconds and Hamilton was getting closer and closer. Red Bull beat Mercedes to the punch for the second round of stops, pitting Verstappen after a short stint for another set of hard tyres on lap 40. Mercedes did the same with Hamilton three laps later, gaining a small tyre delta to set him up for a charge to catch Verstappen. Hamilton's first shot at overtaking Verstappen came on lap 48. He was more than 25 km an hour quicker at the end of the main straight with the RS, allowing him to close up and line up for a move around the outside of Turn 4. As the cars went side by side, Verstappen pushed Hamilton wide and both cars went off the circuit. Verstappen stayed ahead, but the stewards opted against an investigation into the move, a decision Mercedes boss Toto Wolff would later call laughable. But Hamilton bided his time and plotted another move 11 laps later. After backing out of a similar attempt at Turn 4 the previous lap, this time Hamilton was far far closer to Verstappen exiting Turn 3, meaning he could get past well before the breaking point at Turn 4. The lead and the race win were now in the back. Hamilton would eventually cross the line 10 seconds clear of Verstappen, summing up just how dominant the Mercedes had been at Interlagos. It was a drive that Hamilton said was among the best of his career, high praise for a driver with 101 Grand Prix wins to choose from. With just 14 points between them, Verstappen and Hamilton are set to continue their epic fight for the 2021 World Championship this weekend as F1 pays its first visit to the La Salle International Circuit in Qatar.